Sin, Sin City was in Mavia. I'm literally gonna wait for you. And I see you gonna be like, nah, I'm not gonna like. I'm just keep watching. Just subscribe. And, and you think you think the clip gonna cut right here, but it's not because I'm still waiting for you to click that like button and the subscribe and the post notification button. Lookism is weird. I'm doing a video about it, so it means it must have been interesting at least. But um, I couldn't tell you whether it's good or bad. Honestly speaking, I can't put a finger on it, but I'm just gonna talk about it. Basically, it follows this guy who is in high school and surprise and he's getting bullied he's getting bullied severely it's honestly it's pretty disgusting it's really disgusting but uh he's getting bullied and life's not going his way uh, he's a he's a he's a hefty boy he displays the same symptoms of someone who does go through bullying and you know he's not the most nicest to his mom and honestly speaking though she wasn't there for very long her impact was immense she is such a sweetheart she is such a lovely mother because she is doing everything for her son and it's it's really beautiful to see and honestly speaking she is one of the reasons why i actually took this video seriously and actually liked the anime in itself because of the real impacts and the real emotions that she would invoke in you basically what happens is you know he gets bullied he's really mean to his mom he blames his mom making him food as you know well, that's why he's big L son. One day his mom comes, you know, to school, sees him. He's getting bullied. She steps in. Honestly, she's mom of the year. I don't care. I saw her for like probably 10 minutes in total. She's mom of the year. But anyway, so she transfers her son and he's off to this new city, you know, new city, new start for him. Fresh start. Well, eh, turns out same old, same old. And uh, he, he got. Up. Like he got beat badly. That guy had no mercy. Cameras out. It was nasty. But he gets, and again, this is a very emotional anime. But he he gets beat up so badly that there's two of him. He got beat up so badly that he went to sleep, woke up, and he's in another body. What the hell? Now that's the definition of he has hands. That guy who beat him up has hands, and he woke up in another body wakes up like whoa what's going on he bro this dude beat him up so badly that he became handsome he got another body it's tall he beat him into another person like that nigga's hands are legendary in my eyes he's one of the best fighters to ever exist not even just in anime, but in human, in society, I don't know, in history, that nigga has hands. He's this handsome guy now, and he goes to school, different treatment, everything, right? And the anime does something that made me stick with it, is the whole approach of duality. So basically, he gets a new opportunity to see life from a different perspective one where in one body people love him people think highly of him he can practically do anything honestly speaking i like he turned into chris brown he can dance he can sing he can fight he's acrobatic he can do pretty much anything you think chris brown can do except you know not on the Anyway, so he turns into that and he makes it his mission to kind of assist others and to be a better person through his own experiences. So he takes his own experiences that he's been through, where he's been bullied, where he's been not necessarily in the best of positions. It's weird, but I think the thing that made it interesting was the whole point of he would have this amazing body, but then he would go back to a body that isn't seen as amazing. And I think that that kept him really grounded. And I think that this was important because in him going back to his original body every time i think that the interactions that he had with people were really important because they would show him a side of people that wasn't shown to him when he had that other body he would see some of the true nature that people had this kept on happening throughout the show but it was crucial for him because it stamped down his his position in that i should be a better person and i don't want other people to feel like this so he then even though it seems like he's not really trying to do it but he ends up basically making it normal in a school setting for people who think of themselves as being cool to hang out or be with people who are seen as outcasts because he embraces a lot of the outcasts so in him doing
saying that it basically ultimately results in i guess a better world and i understand that this is on a high school level so obviously it's not like he's changing the world or that he should win a nobel peace prize or whatever i think that those points were very crucial because you could see in that his actions were actually making a difference and he was a person who was willing to fight for others i'm really making this sound like he's some like historical hero but basically he goes on this mission bullying is bad everybody should try and you know accept each other these key points kept me hooked on the show even though at times like i've said it was extremely cheesy and awkward at times and it was really laughable some of the stereotypes are just like crazy he, he is chris brown i think that the show is worth the watch because yes sometimes you know things could have been done a bit better but the messages that were sprinkled within each episode i feel as if they were really worth listening to i think it's important to sometimes remind yourself of who you are especially if you're a good person if you're a good person then you should always stay true to yourself um if you're not then you should probably change so stay true to yourself but uh if you're good just try it 